Ram may have just outplayed Chevy and Ford. The truck maker just unveiled the full extent of its vision for an electrified pickup, and this one still relies on a gas drinking engine. Not in the way you might think though, as the brand new Ram Ram Charger is a powerful plug-in hybrid boasting great power and tons of range. First off, I think this is a pretty darn good use of a name from Ram's history. Well, Dodge's history to be technical about it. The Dodge Ram Charger was a pretty sweet looking full-size SUV based on the D-Series pickup. Dodge built them from 1974 through 1993 here in the States. Actually, they built them for even longer down in Mexico where you could buy a Ram Charger all the way up through 2001. Even more surprising though is that there was a Plymouth version called the Trail Duster, and now I want one of those because I'd never heard of it before. Anyway, this new 2025 Ram Charger is not an SUV. It's an electrified version of the Ram 1500. And when I say it may have outplayed Chevy and Ford, I mean that it could get electric truck fence sitters far more excited about the proposition of picking one up. That's because while it only runs on electric power for the propulsion, it uses a gas engine to serve as a generator for the battery pack. The power for propulsion is handled by a pair of electric motors. You have a 250 kilowatt motor up front and a 238 kilowatt motor in the rear. Total output is as much as 663 horsepower and 615 pound-feet of torque. And that's enough silent thrust to move the Ram Charger from zero to 60 miles per hour in under four and a half seconds. Fitting the motors is a 92 kilowatt hour battery pack though, that's the gross rating and I'm seeing it reported that the usable amount of battery is rated at just over 70 kilowatt hours, which is still huge for a plug-in hybrid. This setup gives the Ram Charger a range of 145 miles. That doesn't sound like much, right? Good thing there's a 3.6 liter V6 and a 27 gallon gas tank bolted in as well. When the battery pack state of charge dips below a certain amount, the engine feeds a 130 kilowatt generator. That in turn refills the battery pack and that's how the Ram Charger arrives at a driving range of 690 miles. In fact, the Ram Charger will automatically disconnect the front axle when it's not needed for power to further improve on-road efficiency. So, range anxiety? No, that's not applicable here on the Ram Charger. But can it do proper truck stuff? Yes. The tow rating is 14,000 pounds and the payload capacity is 2,625 pounds. But taking it a step further, it can behave similarly to the Ford Lightning in that it can power stuff on the job site thanks to its 7.2 kilowatt power panel in the bed. If you want to fast charge the truck, it can handle up to 145 kilowatt charging speeds, which Ram says can add 50 miles of range in just 10 minutes. Like the rest of the Ram family, the interior looks best in class. The truck sits on air suspension and still uses the independent rear setup, so it should ride wonderfully as well. There's also a 1,228 watt Klipsch audio system packing 23 speakers. It's probably gonna weigh a ton, but the specs that Ram have posted are very impressive. And while the Ram Rev fully electric truck is still happening, it's quite smart to roll out the plug-in Ram Charger. This basically solves the complaints that truck users have with the other fully electric options on the market. The Rivian R1T and Ford Lightning, while both excellent electric trucks, are limited in their ability to tow for proper distances. With the Ram Charger, you get the electric power, but you have that V6 engine waiting on deck to keep you rolling. In fact, you could keep others rolling too, since the Ram Charger allows for vehicle to vehicle charging. There's no word yet on pricing, but I can assume it won't be cheap. Still, the peace of mind this offers a truck owner who's been considering going electric, but still needs to tow stuff may prove worth the cost of entry. Ram just pulled a power move in this segment. Shoot, even I kind of want one and I haven't even driven it yet. <laughs> 